Leggings, leggings, leggings. You need to stop. All right. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Kiki here, yes. So I know I've been gone for about a month. I did have a lot going on in the month of June, but I am back and I'm ready to start putting out some consistent content again. So um, I was just super busy studying for my certified personal trainer test because I waited to the last minute sorry for the brief hiatus but I'm back and I'm here with a video about leggings <laughs> so if you follow me on Instagram it is no secret I absolutely love active wear I take it very seriously I play about a lot of things my leggings are not one of them um, I'm very serious about my active wear it has to fit properly everywhere it cannot fall down when I'm working out I dealt with that for years in school, you know, always pulling pants up that just simply didn't fit me correctly. So when I finally came across some brands that work for me and work for my curves, I stuck with them. There's only five brands here because I'm not really the type to try a bunch of different brands. I just, I find a brand, it works, I keep purchasing. Um, so there's five brands we're going to talk about today that are my favorite that I consistently purchase from. So what I am going to do is go in order from most affordable to more on the expensive side. I know not everyone wants to spend, you know, upwards of $100 on a pair of leggings and I get that. So I do have an affordable brand here, actually a couple. So I'm gonna start with most affordable and move up that way. So let's jump in. All right, yes. So first up, not a lot of people know this, but Old Navy has some seriously good leggings. This might've been actually the first brand that I um, started shopping at like right after college because I was uh, <laughs> broke, but they actually make a very good legging. So as you can see here, I have quite a few. This isn't all of them, but through the years, um, they've always, always, always were just super affordable for me when I needed them the most. So, I mean, I don't think I've ever paid more than $15 for a pair of Old Navy leggings. So I absolutely love Old Navy because they are super affordable. Um, the range of prints and styles is endless. It probably has the biggest range out of every brand that I'm going to talk about today. They range from high-waisted, low-rise, mid-rise, mesh detailing, you know, crazy prints. So sizing, they do have leggings that range from an extra small. And I'm on their website, they go all the way up to a 4X. Definitely out of all of the brands that I talk about today, they do have the widest size range. So that's pretty incredible. Um, I think their plus sizes, which is um, 1X through 4X, are only available on their website, but still. Um, this is also one of the other brands that come in tall. So for my tall girls, you can order offline um, and they're very long. Even I'm 5'10 and I have to roll them up myself. So I am always a size large in Old Navy. And like I said, full price, these leggings range from 30 to $35. I have never paid full price for them because Old Navy is a brand that always has sales. I think at least once a month, they put their active wear on sale 50% off and you cannot beat these leggings for that much. I mean, even just looking on their website, I see pairs for 12 to $15, which is a steal. Because let me tell you, these two leggings right here, two of my favorites, I kid you not, I've had these since 2015 and they still are in excellent shape. So they last just because they're affordable and on the lower range side, doesn't mean they fall apart at all. I've actually had more expensive leggings that have let me down um, way faster than these could have. So I've never had an issue with these leggings. I prefer high-waisted, they stay up, they don't fall down. Always squat proof, at least the colors that I have purchased, always, always squat proof. They're just my tried and true, like very affordable, old navy, love them. Next up, I would say this is probably a brand that people don't realize as well make a very good pair of leggings and that is Victoria's Secret. They have a Victoria's Sport line which is fairly new. Um, they just don't really publicize it a lot like there's not a lot of marketing out there for their sport line for some odd reason because they make good good leggings. This is probably um, one of the brands that I initially first spent you know 
I started with Old Navy and then I wanted to get kind of fancier. And then I went for Victoria Sport. This was the first pair I ever purchased. So this was a few years ago. And again, amazing quality. Absolutely love them. So these are the knockout leggings. They have a couple different lines. I personally prefer just the knockout. Not to get confused, they have the total knockout and then just regular knockout. The total knockout, I have a pair here. They're okay. They're just kind of a shinier material. So for me, they fall down just a little. Nothing ridiculous. They just they slide down my skin very easily. So I don't love them, but I'll still wear them um, to work out. I just won't run in them or anything like that if I'm doing any jumping. So I prefer the regular knockout leggings. I have their mid-rise and their high-rise. I have a mix, both extremely flattering. Right now, I'm in between a medium and a large, depending on the style. So half of what I have is medium, half is a large. This definitely is a brand that you want to try on. And just like Old Navy, I mean, this goes without saying for all of these brands, otherwise I wouldn't be showing you guys. They stay up, I don't have to pull them up. Um, I just, I have, no issues, I absolutely adore these leggings. On their website, it looks like they range from an extra small to an extra large. Um, so definitely you're going to want to try them on. Also, just like Old Navy, they come in tall for some of the colors. So I do have a couple of those, super long. So I love when things come in tall. Some of us are tall, so I love that. Pricing, the reason why I'm talking about this one second is because they have really good sales. Full price, these are about $70 roughly. I've never paid anything close to that. I've actually never paid more than probably 30 or $35 for these leggings and they are well worth the price. Like I just showed you guys, I've had some of these over three years, um, like they're over three years old. So definitely worth it, definitely amazing quality. If you get these for 40 or less, it is a steal. So that's why I'm talking about this brand second. Full price, they seem expensive, but wait for a sale, very important. For example, on their today, actually, they're having 50% off of all Victoria Sports, so their leggings are about $35. That's a steal. All right, so yes, Victoria Sport, one of my favorites. All right, so up next, actually the next two brands are kind of neck and neck with price in my opinion. So Nike, yes. For years, Nike simply just did not work for me. I don't know if I just wasn't getting the right size or the right style. They do have a ton of different lines. But as of recent, and I mean last year, my first pair of Nike leggings that worked for me, the Nike Pro Intertwist leggings. These hug my curves like no other. These are a perfect legging for any high impact performance work, running, jumping, sprinting. These girls, they don't budge like at all. So once I got these, yes, I have these in multiple colors because I have an issue. I find something I love and I get it in every color. I mean, look how cute they are. They just, they, that's how well they work with me. I just, I find something and I get it in multiple colors. Um, they're so flattering on me. These, I don't know if they're meant to be high-waisted or mid-rise, but I hike them up to be high-rise. Um, absolutely love them, okay? And here's a different style of the Nike Pro leggings. Um, all of these I got from either Macy's, Dick Sporting Goods, or directly from the Nike website. Full price, they're about $55, but again, I waited for a sale. Usually at Macy's or Dick Sporting Goods, I got them for about 40 bucks, which in my opinion is a very good price for Nike leggings that you know are going to last you a very long time. So as far as sizing, um, I'm a medium in all of the intertwist leggings and that's because the large, it fit me in the legs, but it was a little too big in the waist. So I had to size down to a medium and I thought they fit perfectly. So this is definitely a legging that you're going to want to try on. So I do know Nike on their website, they of course, I think they started an extra, extra small or an extra small, and then they go up to, um, they have a plus line where I believe they stop at a 3X. So they also have a pretty wide range as well. So yes, Nike. Whew. Now this next line, probably the most asked about active wear line on my Instagram, good old Gymshark. Um, not a lot of girls know how well Gymshark fits curvy girls. I think I just went and placed an order two years ago and I just, I wanted to see if they were gonna work for me and shockingly they did. They, um, I think I got a pair of fit leggings and a pair of flex leggings and they fit me so wonderfully. I just, I couldn't stop myself. They just come out with such cute prints that no one else really does. It's hard to not just buy everything that they release. Um, but I do absolutely love Gymshark and their style. 
So in most Gymshark leggings, actually all Gymshark leggings, I am a size large. So everything that I have purchased so far, I have been a large in the leggings and they have always fit me very well. I of course wouldn't be talking about them if um, I had to, you know, they fall down or roll down on me. Um, they fit me perfectly and I can pretty much do anything in all of their leggings. So I do enjoy them. Now their size range, I think they range from an extra small to a large for most of the stuff. Um, and a couple of the other leggings, they do go up to an XL, which I've noticed they started to do, which is nice of them. Prices, I, I that's why I said Nike and these are kind of neck and neck. Um, the cheapest pair that I have from them are about 30 bucks and those are actually my favorite. And the most expensive pair I have are $60. So they do range um, as far as sales. They don't have them as often as the other brands that I talked about. I think they only have two or three sales a year and it is hard to catch those sales and get the stuff that you want because they sell out very quickly. So more than likely you will wind up paying full price for their products. Ooh. Ooh. So for example, this is my favorite legging. Both of my favorite pairs of leggings from Gymshark are not the most popular because they're very plain, but I love just a plain print legging. These are the Jersey Arc leggings and they look like joggers or sweatpants, but they're a legging material and they are extremely comfortable, very squat proof. I absolutely adore these. They're so comfy. They were a bit big for me because I ordered them in a size too large. I think these come in an XL. Yeah, I got these in an XL and they were a bit too big in the waist. So I did put my own drawstring in, but I also had these for years. Absolutely love the Jersey Arc. But yes, Gymshark, definitely one of my favorite brands as far as leggings go. Last but certainly not least, if you guys follow me on Insta, you know that I do partner with Balance Athletica. Ooh. Yes, now this brand, ooh. They drop some fire, let me tell you. I mean, look at these prints. Get into these prints. Ugh. Hands down, one of my favorite, favorite lines. I was a little nervous because they are an online only company and I always, I'm kind of nervous when I can't try the, the leggings on to see how they work with me and my curves and my hips. But when I got these, whew, these fit me extremely well. Fit my hips, my waist. Um, I mean, and the print, yes, Balance Athletica is a very, very fast growing company. I remember these are the first pair I tried on when they touched my skin. I was like, wow, these girls are up to something. They're really killing it. Um, absolutely so flattering on me, on my hips, my waist, not to mention these are built for performance. So I can run, sprint, jump in these. I don't have to pull them up. They are always squat proof. I absolutely adore this line and all of the effort that they put into making sure these leggings are perfect. So as of right now, they do only have the Ascend leggings which are those, and then they have the OG print, which I absolutely adore as well. These are compared to Lululemon Aligns, but I think for someone that's curvier, I personally prefer these because they have more support. I do have some of the Aligns, but these just, they have more compression, which is what I prefer. Um, so absolutely love the OG. Now I do feel bad kind of telling you guys about these particular ones because they're not restocking these exact prints or colors, I think. Um, but I just saw on Instagram, they are releasing a new line and they have tons of drops throughout the year. So I just want to put y'all on, okay? I just want to put you guys on to this company because I'm telling you, they constantly drop fire. I mean, like no other, I've, the people that I know that purchased them, I haven't seen one negative comment about them. So I know they don't have anything in stock right now, but I just want to put you guys on because they're going to start dropping some stuff more consistently. And as they grow, they will have more in stock. So keep them in mind. Now, as far as price, this is the last brand that I'm talking about and they are the most expensive. So the OG pants are about, I think $65 and the Ascend are typically 75. So they are up there in price, but I will say, especially because they're just, they're, you're not gonna get this type of print anywhere, this quality of legging. I personally find them better than Lululemon. Um, I said it, I said it. I personally think that's a good price for these leggings. I think they're incredible. Now, as far as sales, like I said, they are a new company. Every, every time I see them kind of stock or restock, everything sells out within five, 10 minutes. So there hasn't really been an opportunity for them to have sales and I can't speak. I don't know if they're going to have sales in the future because they're so new. I think they're trying to just 
focus on you know trying to get a lot of inventory and keep it in stocks but as of right now no they don't have sales so you are going to probably wind up paying full price for these leggings i love them so yes that's balance athletica oh all right so that is it that is genuinely the majority of the active wear leggings that i do wear what I just shared with you guys here are genuinely the leggings that I love. They work with me, they work with my curves. I don't play about my leggings. They have to fit me and they have to fit me well. So everything that I shared with you guys today, I genuinely love and I will continue to purchase from these brands. I hope that I answered any questions that you guys would have had about any of these brands, but if you don't, definitely ask that down below. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. I'm ready to start cranking out some videos and that's all I got for you today. That was the key to fitness. I would just like to say, I hope my commitment is acknowledged. I just unfolded all of these leggings. Now I gotta fold them back and put them back in their rightful place. Not looking forward to that, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good day. Bye, 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 bye.